Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here. It's a little bit of a windy day. Uh, I'm going to take the Mavic 2 Zoom, take it up in the air and try some uh, precision landings with us. I know there's been some controversy over how uh, close the Mavic 2 can land. It doesn't have the precision landing function that was on the original Mavic and then on the Mavic Air. Uh, I used to own both those drones and they would land very precisely. One of the first things I noticed was that the Mavic 2 did not have that function and would not land quite as close as it did. So uh, anyway, we're going to try it out here a little bit and uh, see how it works. Okay, I want to check the wind here, see what kind of wind we got. Got the uh, anemometer here. I'm showing about 2.6 miles per hour, so uh, uh, now it's up to th eh, about a little over five, six, six miles per hour now, so a little bit of a breeze. Okay, so you can see the Mavic is pretty much uh, centered on the landing pad there. Uh, let's uh, let's take off and see what we can do. Well, typical for DJI, I fired it up and I've got a message here: inconsistent firmware found, so it's updating. Uh, I'm not sure if it's updating firmware for the controller or for the uh, craft itself, but uh, anyway, we're about 60%. Well, it finally says update complete. Uh, the craft uh, restarted a couple times, but it's showing it's in GPS mode and ready to go, so we'll go fly here. Okay, I took it up, uh, oh gosh, about 13 foot. Get ready to get a good look at the ground here before we take off. Well, we know the proximity alert works. Okay, let's uh, let's fly it up and out a little bit, and uh, then we'll try a landing and see where she lands. Okay, uh, I'm out. Let's see. I'm out about uh, 533 feet up at about 200 feet. Let's bring it home and see how close it lands. Okay, she's coming home. So it'll lift the camera up before it hits the ground here. It's adjusting itself a little bit. Well, not too bad. It, as you can see, it's slowing down the camera raised. It's pretty darn close. So there you can see, uh, that's at least a couple feet off, uh, which has been my experience out in the field. The Mavic Pro or the Mavic Air would have landed within inches right on that landing pad, but let's try it a couple more times. Okay, she's on the pad. Let's take off again. I took it up about 19 feet that time. We'll let it uh, let it have a good look. So it's right square above the landing pad here. Uh, 
let's go uh, let's go up and away and uh, and uh, see what we can do maybe uh, maybe we'll try a uh, a helix or something here just for fun of it while we're flying move the camera back up Okay, you can see me. I'm going to go into the, uh, the quick shot modes here. Try Helix. Three, two, and off it goes. One. So the Helix is always a fun quick shot to try. Uh, so threw it in here and plus I knew it would give an all around view of the area that I was flying in so that you'd uh, have a chance to see uh, where I was flying around at here. I'm always amazed at the level of automation that they've programmed into these drones. Uh, it's fascinating stuff and even a hack like me can uh, make a decent video this way. Okay, let's try and land this thing again. So now it's returning to its original position. So now you can see this field that I'm flying around in. Uh, you Europeans would call this a football pitch. Uh, we call it a used soccer field over here, and this is usually just an open field, but uh, they you can see they're getting it set up for some youth soccer matches Okay, she's in her original spot. Let's uh, let's bring it home. Let's see how close she lands. We did a couple things with it Let's see if it'll land close So it looks pretty good. You know, you're looking at the camera. Looks pretty darn close. And there again, it'll lift the camera up on its way down. As soon as it gets within a few feet, it'll lift the camera up. It's suggesting it's going to get a lot closer this time. That's a lot closer. Well, maybe not. So it's, uh, as you can see, it's maybe a foot closer. Not too bad, but uh, definitely not the precision landing we're, we're uh, used to. We're going to give it another shot here. Okay, taking off. about 24 foot up this time. Let's give it a good look. Okay, these guys are uh, they are doing some work over here. Let's set up a hyperlapse. Okie dokie, let's bring it home. Okay, I pointed the camera straight down so we can see uh, how close it gets. Drone reports it's landing. Yeah, not even close this time. Wrong direction and everything. Yeah, it's well off of the pad here. Okay, let's try it one more time. Yeah, sadly not even close this time either. Uh, if you look off in the distance there when the camera goes up, there's that guy with the metal detector. That's some of the weird beeping you hear in this video. 
Okay, this time I'm backing the camera up uh, so that the sensors, we can't say that this, uh, the forward-facing sensors are, uh, are interfering with uh, where it's coming down at. Let's take off here. Yeah, as you can see, it's still seeing the camera out here, but let's go up a little bit. Took it up about 16, 17 foot to uh, let it get a good look at the landing zone. And then uh, let's try it again here. Yeah, for the last one, I thought I'd do a nice little pull-away shot here, so you could uh, kind of see the territory that I was uh, that I had uh, done this at. And now let's bring her back home again for the last time. What a relief, huh? Holy cow, this one's starting to look good. Do you think it'll land on the pad this time? Man, now the camera comes up. Right on the money, Mavic 2. Good job. It's going to give me a battery warning any second here. Okay, let's bring it home. Yeah, it's a little bit off. I don't know, it's got it centered pretty good here. Let's see. Come on, little Mavic, you can do it. This is the best one yet, I think. Camera will come up now. That's automatic with the drone. Wow, this is the best one yet. Best one yet. Look at that, right on the pad. Huh, maybe it just takes it a while to learn how to do it. Anyway, battery is low, so uh, we'll shut it down here. Okie dokie, well that's it. Uh, the last one was about what we would hope for. Uh, the previous three attempts uh, were about, I don't know, a foot to two foot off. Uh, let's hope that this is something that uh, uh, DJI updates in the future. Uh, it would be helpful and uh, you know I was uh, auto land and auto take off. I know that uh, people say, well, the pros don't do that. They hand take off and they, they hand catch. Uh, you know, I value my fingers uh, and not, not being critical of anybody that does that. That's just the way I look at it. Uh, but uh, at any rate, uh, it would be pretty cool if they'd get a more precision uh, landing built into this drone that we all paid a lot of money for, uh, the folks of us that bought it. So uh, in any case, uh, thank you, Idaho Sledheads, signing out.